Cows may look harmless, but they're one of the largest single sources of greenhouse gases on Earth. There are 1.4 billion cows worldwide, and together they release more than 2 billion tons of CO2 equivalent every year. The surprising part? It doesn't come from their waste, but from their stomachs. Every time they burp, they release methane, a gas over 80 times stronger than carbon dioxide at trapping heat. A lot of people think the problem is cow farts, but the truth is, that's mostly a myth. Around 95% of all methane from cows comes out the front end, through burps, not the back end. That's about 30 to 50 gallons of methane per cow every day, adding up to nearly 200 pounds of methane per cow every year. Multiply that across billions of cows and the number gets massive. So how does this happen? Cows are ruminants, meaning their stomach is divided into compartments. The largest compartment, called the rumen, works like a giant fermentation tank. Trillions of microbes inside break down tough plant fibers like grass and hay. This helps cows get energy, but the process also creates methane, and the only way out is through a burp. If each cow can release 200 pounds of methane every year, multiplying that globally makes livestock responsible for nearly 30% of all methane emissions worldwide. Methane doesn't stay in the atmosphere as long as CO2, about a decade versus centuries, but while it's there, it's devastating. Over 20 years, methane traps more than 80 times as much heat as carbon dioxide. That means cutting methane now could cool the planet faster than almost any other climate solution, buying us precious time in the fight against global warming. So, how do we stop billions of burps? One surprising answer might be found in the ocean, seaweed. A red seaweed called Asparagopsis contains a natural compound that blocks the chemical pathways that produces methane in a cow's stomach. And the results have been dramatic. In Australia, trials showed methane reductions of up to 95%. At UC Davis, cows fed small amounts of this seaweed burped 82% less methane. Even farmers in Canada have seen reductions when mixing it into feed. Other plants like garlic and oregano also show potential, but seaweed is by far the most effective. Of course, it's not that simple. We'd need to grow, harvest, and distribute seaweed on a massive scale to feed even a fraction of the world's cattle. Researchers are also studying long-term impacts on cow health and making sure milk and meat remain safe. So while promising, it's not yet a silver bullet. Still, the potential is huge. Cutting methane from livestock could help countries reach the Global Methane Pledge, a 2021 agreement by more than 150 nations to cut emissions 30% by 2030. If successful, this could deliver rapid climate benefits in just a decade. Cows aren't going anywhere, but their methane emissions don't have to be part of the problem. From seaweed to science, the solutions are out there. And if we can curb something as ordinary as a burp, we might just buy the planet some time. Here on Forever Green, we dive into the coolest stories at the intersection of nature and science, from hidden climate videos to the strange secrets of the natural world. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and let us know in the comments what topic you'd like us to explore next.